Ariana Fontana is silently one of the greatest short track skaters in Olympic history. Her numbers at the Games speak for themselves, one gold, two silver, and five bronze. Those eight total medals make her the most decorated female short track skater by two medals, and tie her with legends Apollo Ono and Victor Arn for most Olympic medals ever won by a short track skater. But it is her numbers outside the Olympic stage that really call attention to her Olympic success. She is a 14-time world medalist, which is no small feat, but her podium appearances are spread over a 12-year competitive career. Someone like Elise Christie, for example, has won 12 World Championships medals in just five years, and also unlike Christie, Fontana has never won an overall title, but Christie struggled on the sport's biggest stage in both Sochi and Pyeongchang, and has yet to win her first Olympic medal. Fontana, on the other hand, has become such a consistent podium presence over the last two games that she almost makes it look easy, before retiring from competition. Oh no won 21 world medals, eight of them gold, on, still competing but not one of the athletes invited to. Competed at the Pyeongchang Olympics as an Olympic athlete from Russia, has to date has won 35 world medals, 20 of which were gold. Fontana does not come from a short track power like South Korea or China, perhaps another reason why she is not more notorious. Most of her medals are bronze, which could be used as a strike against her, but just ask Lindsay Vonn how hard she worked to get hers this year. Fontana's first medal came at the 2006 Torino Olympics, when she helped the Italian women to bronze in the 3000 meters relay at just 15 years old. Fontana earned her first individual medal, a bronze in the 500 meters, four years later in Vancouver, but in Sochi, she exploded, making the podium in three out of four events, the 500 meters, where she won silver, and the 1,500 meters and 3,000 meters relay, where she picked up two more bronzes. I thought I was going to win a gold medal in Sochi but I still don't have that, Fontana said to the issue in early 2017. That's there up in my mind and sometimes it comes out and says, hey, are you still miss me? So come get me. But after the 2014-15 season, Fontana's desire for gold was eclipsed by something else. Burnout, I was pretty tired mentally. My body was ready to race again but my mind was not. It was hard for me. After the 2014 Olympic Winter Games in Sochi, I had some doubts about whether to keep skating or not, Fontana said to the issue. Maybe it would have been better to take that year right after the Olympic Games off, but I decided to keep going. It is not that I regret it, but I had some hard times that season. She stayed active during her time off, learning how to box, which eased the transition back to skating. Her pursuit for gold was what motivated her comeback, and in 2018 Fontana got what she came back for. When I saw I was first, I was just yelling and started crying. I worked for four years and the last four months were really hard for me. I was really focused on getting here in the best shape ever, Fontana said after earning the 500m Olympic title. I was chasing it and finally I got it. In addition to her 500m gold medal, Fontana also added a 1000m bronze and 3000m relay bronze. Fontana has spoken about retirement, but has not made a definitive decision. She will only be 31 years old by the time 2022 rolls around, so she could feasibly add to her medal haul if she competes. What she has made clear is that when she does leave the sport she hopes to become a personal trainer. Whenever she does retire Fontana should be considered not only one of the greatest Italian athletes or greatest short track skaters, but also one of the greatest Winter Olympians. Copyright 2018 NBC Universal. All rights reserved. Any use, reproduction, modification, distribution, display performance of this material without NBC Universal's prior written consent is prohibited.